And new at five, her basement started to flood after sewage work in front of her home. Well, now a grandmother has to vacuum up water for hours every day. Seven News reporter Marshall Zellinger went to Firestone to find out why it's happening and who's responsible. This is how Kathy Martinez spends most of her day. Every three hours, she sucks up water seeping into her home. I did have a very nice basement, but there goes the sump pump now. While we were here, we saw her sump pump at work every eight minutes, taking water from this hole and getting it out of her home. A problem she says started a few months ago after sewage work was completed in front of her home. And this wasn't going on before they did the work in front of your home? No. The water now seeping into her home had been seeping into the sewage lines until the sanitation district patched the pipes. I said, so in other words, you fixed your problem and now I have the problem. When we fix the pipe, then the water table raised and so then it comes in her house. Wayne Ramey is the sanitation district's vice president. He's also Kathy's neighbor. He tells us he's going to have the water tested to figure out where the water is coming from and ultimately who's responsible. By us testing it to see if it is potable, um, that may give us an idea to say, okay, let's contact the town. We contacted town manager Wes Lavachi. I'll be requesting our engineering staff to get with the sanitation district's engineering staff and begin to have a dialogue with the homeowner to find out exactly when these problems occur. I try to do it on my own, and I don't like to depend on people. I got this paperwork from the city of Firestone, and it shows the work that was done in front of her home. It also shows two contractors did the work. This says the first contractor was fired. The sanitation district tells me they were fired for working too slow, and they never got to the pipework, so it's unlikely that first contractor's to blame. Well, within the last hour, I got off the phone with Kathy. Since we left, a water sample has been taken, and we should know the results of what's in that water possibly later tonight. Live in the newsroom, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Yeah, it'd be nice for her to get some answers. Thank you, Marshall. And we first learned about this story from a 7 News viewer, so if you have a story idea, we want to hear it. Call us at 303-832-7777 or contact us through Facebook, Twitter, or our website, thedenverchannel.com.